In our next example uh, on how structural performance affects system safety and reliability, uh, we turn to a very familiar device, the mobile phone. Uh, what you see on your screen is actually a museum piece. Uh, the world's first commercial cellular phone uh, introduced uh, in 1983-84. Uh, it cost 4,000 American dollars uh, at that time and it was nicknamed uh, the Brick Phone, uh, the Motorola Dynatalk 8000X. Uh, it was 10 inches tall plus the antenna and weighed 800 grams so the nickname was obvious. Uh, the battery offered about 30 minutes of talk time and it took 10 hours uh, to recharge. Uh, we are not going to talk about how cell phones uh, revolutionized the way we communicate and do business uh, in the four decades since then, but we'll focus on how with increasing popularity and usage and capabilities, there was a need to have better batteries with better performance. Uh, those early NICAT batteries were replaced first by nickel metal hydride batteries that came after them uh, and the lithium ion batteries that we use today uh, and for good reasons. Uh, these lithium ion batteries have no memory effect, uh, they have high energy density, uh, they can withstand many charging cycles, uh, they are also the power source of choice uh, for today's electric vehicles. Uh, but whether they're in cars, smartphones, or airplanes, uh, these lithium-ion batteries can catch fire. Uh, the rate of catching fire is rare, uh, about 1 in 12 million by one estimate. Uh, but, you know, 6 to 8 billion cells are now produced each year by another estimate. So, uh, in absolute numbers, these are not negligible. Uh, so, so what you see on, on the left of your screen uh, is a schematic of the lithium ion battery. Basically it's a series of anodes and cathodes separated by separators uh, that must allow the electrolyte solution uh, with lithium ions to pass. Uh, the separator material is typically some porous membrane made of uh, some polymer matrix soaked with an electrolyte solution. Uh, basically lithium salt dispersed in an organic solvent uh, such as the polyolefin membranes produced by the so-called wet or dry processes uh, that you see on the right in two failed samples. Uh, now parameters that affect the separator performance uh, are permeability, the porosity, the electrolyte absorption and retention and of course chemical, thermal and mechanical stability. Uh, these separators are subject to pressure, thermal cycling, high temperatures as part of normal operation and then impact load like in EVs uh, and conductive debris as you see in these failed samples. So these can cause the separators to fail, to fail mechanically and which may lead to short circuit fires and possible explosion. Therefore, separators have a strong impact on cell performance, life, cost, as well as safety and reliability. Unfortunately, uh, in the battery manufacturing community, strength of lithium ion cells against mechanical loading has not been a design consideration in a systematic manner. So better separated design is an active area of research, uh, including replacing them with solid electrolytes but many challenges are there. So whatever it will be, it is clear that the structural performance and structural reliability of these materials will play a central role.